Okay, this is a quick tip video on how to install and configure read the apps on your iPad for Read 180 Universal and JPS. So the first thing we've got to do is download the apps. Now there's two apps you need. One is Read 180 Universal and one is Scholastic Reading Inventory and those are the two you need to start. So the first thing we've got to do is go to the App Store. So we're going to go to the App Store and we're going to search for Read 180 to begin with. We're going to search and the first app that's going to come up is the Read Read 180 Universal Student App, and that's the first one you need. Now, you'll notice that mine has a cloud next to it because I've downloaded it before. If you've never downloaded it before, it will say Get. If you're using the same iTunes account, it will have a cloud if you've downloaded it before. You must have an iTunes account. You don't have to have a credit card associated with it, but you must have it to download at least the first time. So the first thing I'm going to do is click the cloud, and it's going to download. And once it's downloaded, it's going to say Open. But I'm not going to open it right now because it's not configured and it won't work. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the Reading Inventory app. And then I'm going to search for that. And the first thing that's going to come up is another HMH. And you need to make sure that it says Reading Inventory Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. That's the one you need. You'll see in the upper left-hand corner of the screen that mine has a cloud because I've downloaded it before. But I'm going to click the cloud and it's going to download and then it's going to say open. I'm not going to open it again because it's not configured. So in order to configure the app, I've got to go to my settings. And when I get to my settings, when I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that there's the app. There are the apps that I have downloaded on this particular iPad. So the first one I'm going to configure is the Read 180 Universal. And I must enter the site ID. You do have that in your email, but you must have the JPS site ID or it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to spin and spin and say you have an error and you need to contact your teacher or something ridiculous like that. The other one I've got to do is the reading inventory app and I'm going to put the same site ID code into this app that I used in my, my uh, Read 180 Universal app. So after I enter that, I'm just going to click off. And that's how you download them and configure them. After you've configured the apps, if you did it correctly and you launched the Read 180 or the Scholastic Reading Inventory app, you will see the HMH Central login. At this point, your students must enter their HMH credentials. You can, as a teacher, you can see those H HMH Central username and passwords inside of your Teacher Central or your SAM console. You do not use your Clever credentials on an iPad. They do not support single sign-on at this point. So please remember, go to your teacher dashboard, your teacher tools to find the student usernames and passwords, and then you'll be ready to go. That's it. Have a great day.